So, I don't know. For some reason, usually I tend to default on the light source coming from the top right, not left. In this case, it's fine because he's actually facing right, so that actually uh, will be to my benefit. Fake light so and then oh that uh I guess highlight parts I need. the yeah well i'm that's partially why i made the hair so bright to help them stand out but i'm also maybe just gonna exaggerate the highlights on the like the metal machine we'll see uh let's see what that looks like if i Darken around this, like keeping this cylindrical. Yeah, I don't like even this. I think is like too colorless for my shadows. Again, we're gonna have real lighting, but I'm adding like if I'm uh, favoring a certain color, like a blue, for my shadows. On the metal parts, at least. I think it looks good. Um, and then soften the edge a little so it looks like it's kind of tapering off into distance. Yeah, I might add uh, the glow to the goggles. I'll see how it looks in Engine 2. Once. Ah, you know what? Hmm. Before I sink too much time into Yeah, I'm That's usually how I do it. It's usually like This would be catching the highlight and then the right side would be getting the shadow. That's kind of how I Make my uh, lighting usually. This thing is gonna have cool shadows of techy stuff. That has no real purpose. I'm just going to quickly do this head, but before I commit to uh, coloring everything else, I think I'm going to try to uh, actually put everything in the engine and, and see how it all looks as far as uh, how things line up together. Rebling, is that the name for it? Like, uh, I, I know there is a name for it. There's I, I saw... Uh, special effects thing recently where they were talking about designing uh I think it was Adam Savage who was talking about it about like uh spaceships that he designed and stuff I think for Star Wars uh much of this yeah yeah that's okay that's exactly what that's meant to be and um, give them a little bit of a... Um, now if the part here though, facing those sideways, maybe it's going to catch a little bit. And, but then that would be the case for this one too. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to reduce some of that uh,
but also we're gonna want to bring out a few highlights here more brightness please less brightness please Uh, yeah, see, for the highlight, I don't like this tone. For the highlight, I'm thinking more, a little more saturation. Yeah. I mean, maybe a little more, but that, that would have been too much. Yeah, okay. I think this works. I don't know why I'm filling it in like this. I could just uh, actually color it in. You know what? I'm just going to leave this for now. Like I said, I don't want to commit to the colors just yet before I find out that, before I, you know, double check to make sure that everything looks proper in the engine. And when I say looks proper, I mean like, yeah, how things line up, how things. Um, behave with each other, that it's all, that I didn't just, you know, if I need to change something or redraw something, I don't want to waste time coloring it. Um, but I'm just going to finish coloring the head, just so that I have something fun to look at. Something cool and fun to look at. Um... An engine, I mean. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, shadow to the tires, like full black shadow. So here, but but actually, um, like a gradient of it. Foreground to transparent. No, nope, not like this. Uh, That's a little. That's not enough. You know what? It should actually be mirrored, right? Because there would be some cast shadow happening. Uh, Uh, but not this way, but the other way around. How do I reverse that? Actually, it's just going from black to transparent, so I can just do this. Uh, and then just get rid of that on the flat edges. Which will be just this tone. And then the inner one is going to be black. I think that's kind of uh, And I also wanted to fade this part out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, for that, I guess I would need the same kind of thing here. I don't, I'm not 100% uh, committed to keeping this, like, the gradients, because... Um, Everything else is like solid shading, but but we'll see. There's still gonna be like the gradients themselves are are gonna happen in engine, I guess, because there's gonna be a lot of like I said, I wanna use dynamic lighting. Uh, so let's and then so 
if he got this purple tail, purple intel. What would the shadow on that? Let's see that. I feel like is a little too colorful. This, this is good. Just a little too dark. Actually, yeah, I like this. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of a little bit of a cast shadow from the wheels, but then we can also actually just yeah, probably just fill this in because. Because I don't finish my thoughts. Quite nice. Okay. Those. Those. Oh, yeah, like underneath. Uh. Yeah, maybe maybe that just have like a highlight right on the chin, under the lip. But I also don't want to put too much shadow, like you said, because visibility. Uh, okay, so right now I can actually just uh, keep the transparency. Yeah, I think I like this better. Just uh, keep it a little brighter. And then let's uh, see what we can do with the hair. So if I keep my highlight color, this bright garish green, then my shadows I can a little too blue. Maybe. So, uh, well, a little less. Yeah, see, that's not saturated enough compared to the green. This, or darker. I like this, yeah. That works for me. Um... Gonna give it a little bit of uh, that, and then even darker shadows towards the back and at the bottom. Here, that's gonna be the bottom, and then I'll go darker and. Hopefully that's going to be, he's very gray, isn't he? All right. I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, I might want to actually make the metal parts like really blue. Just uh, double down on like the blue shade for the metal. And that hope might give it like saturation. Okay. Uh, export my head. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I'm... I mean, but that might be actually kind of interesting to have the machine be saturated or the synthetic be saturated and the flesh be very dark like uh gray but uh i'm not gonna worry too much about that right now i'm just gonna uh, quickly export these things 
right. Uh, player head selection area. Yep. Done. Um. 